The Labour Party National Executive Committee member always vocal about Tara Hamlet and Luther Rahman on the unfairness of the National Labour Party to investigate double standards. Please welcome Christine Shawcroft. Inviting me to the meeting, and I have to say I'm very proud to be standing here in support of democracy in Tower Hamlets and in favour of Labour for Farama. I have actually been a member of the Labour Party for 38 years, uh, and I would just like to, it's longer than the train robbers got really, um, I would just like to say to everyone. Do not think the Labour Party is John Biggs and Rachel Saunders because it isn't. Yeah. Uh, and there are several of us here, uh, including Stephen Beckett, who are, who are finding all this depressingly familiar uh, after several uh, sitting Labour councillors were all booted off the panel by the London Labour Party in, uh, for the 1998 elections. Uh, but I don't want to, uh, not to give you a, a, an ancient history lesson. Um, I was a member of the National Executive Committee when it took the decision, Labour's National Executive Committee, when it took the decision to debar Le Ferrand from standing. And I've got to say, I mean, a lot of very harsh things have been said about that meeting and the people at that meeting, but the fact remains that they were lied to. The item was not on the agenda. They were taken aside at the beginning of the meeting and told there was violence and intimidation at the Labour group meeting the night before, which is a downright lie. Uh, they were told that Lutford had voted himself an increase in salary, which is a downright lie. Uh, we were presented with a whole uh, folder of, of, of ridiculous accusations, most of which have, uh, of all of which have been totally disproved since then. Uh, and so, you know, when people are being lied to like that and bounced into a decision, you know, I can sort of understand, I mean, I knew it was all rubbish, I was the only person there who voted against it, uh, but when people are being lied to all the time, uh, you know, they, they think, well, there's no smoke without fire or, or whatever, and, uh, and, and go along with things, and obviously a lot of this has, has all been exposed since. So, you know, I think we need to look uh, at the, the, the things, the, the nonsense that has been put about uh, and who is putting it about. Um, I mean, I've, been, I've known John Biggs very well for about 30 years. Um, 29 of those years I haven't been able to believe a word he said. Um, I was also a member of a Poplar and Canning Town Labour Party uh, when Jim Fitzpatrick was selected as an MP, as a candidate in the first place. He stood against Mildred Gordon MP. Now, if I went around standing against Labour, you know, sitting Labour MP, I'd be expelled from the Labour Party. But he did it at a time when we were supposed to be supporting women MPs. Um, he also... Um, I'll slip this out while uh, everyone's looking at George. What happened when Jim was selected, uh, Tony Blair at the time was trying to abolish uh, and successfully abolish clause for the Labour Party constitution. Uh, Jim Fitzpatrick rang up members of the Labour Party and said, what do you think about the new clause for them? And anyone who said, oh, I support the old clause for, he said, oh, so do I. Uh, and if anyone said, oh no, I think it should be changed, I support a new clause for, he said, oh, so do I. That's the kind of person that we're dealing with now. So, I, uh, I, I, I do know a lot of members of the Labour Party who, uh, who voted for Lutford twice now, members of Town Hamlet's Labour Party in the mayoral elections. I can't tell you their names because they'd be expelled from the Labour Party. Uh, but, you know, rest assured that Lutford has got a great deal of support, not just among, you know, the ordinary voters of, Labour of, uh, of Tower Hamlet, but members of the Labour Party as well. And it is never... about 18 months ago and admitted that a terrible mistake had been made and you know a terrible wrong had been committed but they felt it was too late to do anything about it now I think that it is never too late for justice and truth and democracy to prevail we have got to nail all these lies 
lies and tell people what is really going on. I mean, what's the phrase about a lie is halfway around the world before the truth has got its boots on or something, and words to that effect. We have all got to get our boots on and tell Eric Pickles and the Tories and the Coalition and the uh, other retrograde elements, so I, I won't name again, um, and tell them that we are not going to stand for this. We believe in democracy. We believe in justice. We believe the truth will out, and that's what we stand for. Thank you.